guys, welcome back. So today we got um, G80. Um, I think the customer complaint has been long time ready. Um, there's a noise while turning, so we can find the problem. It's coming from the steering rack itself. So today we're just going to be replacing our steering rack assembly and then we're going to do an alignment. So we're going to remove our tires and then we're going to remove our outer tire. Rack. So we got our outer tie rod here. Um, we're just gonna remove our pin. And then we're just gonna use a 19 millimeter socket. So that's out, and then I'm just going to remove the other side, and then we're just going to lift up the vehicle. Okay, so as you can see, the, I just went ahead and removed our undercover. So I think this is just a pretty, pretty straightforward. We just have to remove two connectors to our um, electric motor, and I think this bracket here, so it's easier to come out. So you're gonna remove that, I think that's 14 millimeter. And then at the end here, where you connect the universal joint to the rack, um, you're gonna remove that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that.
ask someone to for help. You can do it by yourself. Okay, so that's out. Grab the new one and let's just compare the components. Okay, so I lay down our new one. I'm just gonna double check, maybe you have to move some stuff or not. So it's the best practice just compare the old one before you replace the new one, right? So So, so far everything is the same. Let's put the new one to the subframe. Okay, so let's put the new one now. And then I'm gonna put our U joint on the steering wheel. So as you can see under our steering wheel, we don't have to worry about the alignment on the U joint because it's just only one way where the bolt goes in. So just line that up. Brackets on, and that should be it.
um, calibration for our motor and we're going to do an alignment. Hey guys, so after torquing the wheels, putting that outer tie rod, um, we're going to just go to our software management and we're going to recalibrate the new motor to the vehicle. So we're just going to go first to our motor driven power steering and EPS type recognition. Okay, so this is a 3.8 Tau of four wheel drive. I think so. Lambda four wheel drive. What's Tau? Is that a 5 liter? Um, let me double check this. <laughs> okay, so I just went to our system, to our computer. So the Tau, that's the 5 liter. So we're going for Lambda, that's the 3.8. Okay. Off for 20 seconds. Ignition on. Okay, that's good. Let me go back home. Okay, so let me just start the vehicle. Make sure that we don't have warning lights. Okay, so we didn't do the steering angle sensor because we're going to do alignment, right? So we're going to do alignment and then after that we're going to go back to our scan tool again. And then we're going to do the steering angle sensor calibration. Okay, so we're at the back right now. So this is where our camber adjustment is, and our toe is at the other side there. So we're gonna adjust those components. Make sure all our readings there are all green, and we're gonna go ahead and the toe alignment.
successfully adjusted the alignment. Now we're just gonna go back inside the car and do our steering angle um, calibration. Okay, we're back on our scan tool. So we're just gonna go for a um, steering angle calibration. So I think that's on the ESC. Let's see. Steering angle calibration. Okay. So our front tire steering wheel to the straight position. Okay. Okay, so far the straight position and then we go reset. Okay. Turn off. And then we just go ignition on. Okay, so that's about it. So we replace our steering um, steering steering rack assembly, and we did the alignment. Just to finalize this is uh, we did our calibration. So to finalize this is I just have to test drive this, make sure that it's driving straight, and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have some suggestions, comments. Put it in the comment box and see you next time. Thank you for watching.